Hey guys, my name is Shai and this is the reading for the week of the Cancer Full Moon. I am not going to be talking about the astrology for this reading, probably not for the rest of Cancer season, just like in Aries season I'm finding this is a time to not care about what the planets are doing because it's like tuning out of what everyone else is doing, tuning out of everyone else's opinions, that includes the opinions of the planets, and just tuning into your own energy and the energy of, you know, your close friends and family, whatever your inner circle is, right? This is the time of your inner circle, your inner, inner, inner space. And <sighs> let me see. I'm recording this Sunday night. The new moon is on Tuesday evening. If you're in Seattle time, <sighs> I'm already feeling the new moon vortex. It is, I find the water new moons <laughs> to be like no fucking joke. <laughs> Um, like ascension symptoms, not, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling fantastic, but I, I am feeling like physically feeling the ascension symptoms, right? Feeling pretty tired, feeling fantastically thirsty, <laughs> um, kind of, you know, third eye headache and all of that. But, um, overall I'm feeling amazing partly because I just got a new kitten and this kitten was, you know, divinely, it was a divine appointment. We were at the park, uh, and I was just kind of sitting there going like, why am I here? What like why why am I here, you know? <laughs> and I look behind me and a wagon full of kittens. Someone's pulling a wagon full of kittens going by. My husband and I just look at each other and we're like we I, we know what's happening. <laughs> we, we know what's happening because uh we have had an opening for one kitten, right? Cuz we like to have or you know, we have the ability to have two cats and one dog. And right now we only have one cat and one dog or you know, as of a couple of days ago, now we have two cats and one dog, and we are back having our full fur family just the way I like it. So, um, and also this is like amazing because now I get to spend cancer season like being cat mom, right? You know, to, for, it's like the perfect time of year, the perfect time of year. I, I get to just spend cancer season playing house, you know, focusing on this little kitten, just devoting all of my time and love and energy to this little kitten. And it, I, I was just like so thankful to the universe for, just lining this up so perfectly because it's the perfect experience for cancer season. So, <laughs> um, and for anyone who's wondering, um, you know, I was going to say, I don't know how many videos I'm going to be posting over the next few weeks, partly because of the kitten and partly because I'm actually also working overtime at my job, but luckily my job I do from home so I can work at my job all day and also spend all day with the kitten. Um, so I'm kind of feeling like I might not post a l very much other than besides the weekly readings for the next few weeks. But as I'm saying that, I'm not sure. So basically, I'm not sure, but I don't need to know. I'll find out as it goes. And that, <laughs> what I described right there, that is the energy of this Cancer New Moon. And I actually feel like this New Moon is going to like echo out more than some New Moons, right? It's going to echo, echo, echo for at least a week. Um, and so this energy of I don't need to know, I don't know, I don't need to know. Um, what's the plan? I don't need to know what the plan is. I don't need to know the schedule. I don't need to know the plan. Um, I don't need to know your opinion. I don't need to know your advice. Just all, all of those feelings of like, I don't need to know. I don't need to know. I don't need to know. That's the, <laughs> that's the energy we want to be tuning into. Um, and just letting the cookie crumble the way the cookie crumbles and just flowing with it, right? That, that's, that's what we want with this cancer season energy. And that's all peaking up around this new moon. Shark spirit, clearer perspective, number 33. Yeah, to me, this is like, what's actually important? What is actually important, right? And that's something you probably assess at several times during the year, but I feel the time of the Cancer New Moon really, really, really focuses in on like what is actually important to you in your life, right? Like <laughs> on a rather extreme, extreme level, like what is actually important. And so, um, you know, peeling away, paring away, sloughing away, all of the things that are not important. Because, like, what, what is a shark, right? <laughs> um, a shark is completely zeroed in on what is most important, Z zeroed in on its living its life, right? Living its life. It, it, there is no excess with a shark, right? A shark is perfectly designed to do exactly what it does. It does it, does it perfectly. It has a perfectly clear perspective on what it needs in its life, and that that's this, right? Um, and so I feel like this cancer season energy, the more, um, 
the more your focus is drawn away from yourself and your family and your kind of home life, right? The more your focus is drawn, the more your focus is on things like career, um, external achievements, right? Um, building a business, um, even creative projects, really. And these are all things that are wonderful and awesome, right? This, is, this does not mean that those things are not important or they should not be pursuing them. It's that those things, you know, career, um, like career success, business, um, finances, even all of those things um, that you want to pursue in your life and that are beautiful and that are awesome, and that are wonderful. It's just that they aren't relevant for the Cancer New Moon energy. They're just not relevant, right? So those things allow those things to just be for some other time, right? They're just not for this week, right? This week is about your your inner energy, right? And getting really, really clear on that. This is the time to focus on, you know, I'm so lucky that I, I just got a brand new kitten, so I get to focus on my brand new kitten. And for me, I just wanna, you know, I know that he's gonna grow really, really fast and I'm not gonna have another kitten for years and years and years and years and years, right? So it's like, I'm just gonna focus on this itty bitty little kitten, this tiny little bundle of joy and perfection and this amazing little miracle of this little kitten. And I'm just gonna sit around and do that. That's what I'm gonna do for the next few weeks. I'm just gonna devote all of my attention to this little kitten because soon enough he's gonna be big. And then he's, I mean, I'm, of course I'm gonna love him. I'm gonna love having two big cats, but you know, there's something special about having a kitten. So it's just like everything else just kind of falls away and just focus on what is most important. And that doesn't have to be, you know, a cat or a child or family or friends. It can literally be like yourself, right? Yourself, yourself, yourself seahorse spirit create the unexpected this is this like incubation energy right because it, so interesting about seahorses is you know i mean the it's not exactly that the males are pregnant right but it's that the when the the female has the embryos she puts the the little eggs into the male and he carries them around in a pouch and it's kind of like he's pregnant right so seahorses are so funny that way um and that is such interesting such interesting symbolism because it's like um, seahorses really buck the trend. They break the norm and they break gender roles, right? Because the, the, to me, the, the the gist of this message, right? So you could definitely see this as a message about gender roles or um, like gender balance and that kind of thing. But to me, like the core of this message with the seahorse here is there's always an exception to the rule, always an exception to the rule, right? So on earth, there is this rule that is that like, biological females are the ones who carry the children right but with seahorses they flip that around and it is the biological males that carry the children right so that 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 right there the, like the flipping the script and that there's always an exception to the rule always 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 an exception to the rule so that's something to to feel into where like how are you the exception to the rule right how is your life the exception to the rule and even like when you hear everybody else saying stuff how can you let that fade away? Because you can go, no, maybe I'm the exception to that rule, right? And but wow, and now that I'm saying this, I'm remembering a thought I was just having as I was just outside walking my dog. I was feeling like, um, uh, now I'm trying to now I'm trying to think, and now I'm trying to remember what it was, but it was like something about having to drop out of all of these rules and all of these shoulds, right? Humans, we have created all of these structures where we go we should do this and there are rules about how we should do that and all of these rules and all of these should statements right and honestly that's a lot of capricorn energy and i'm mentioning that because obviously capricorn is the opposite of cancer and we might see that kind of stuff come up two weeks from now when we have the capricorn full moon but right now it's not the capricorn full moon right now it's the cancer new moon which is double double cancer energy we're really in the cancerian womb we're in the feminine energy um and so like there is no structures there is no shoulds and there are no rules and in fact i had the last few nights in my dreams i have just been like surrounded by essentially the energy of the divine mother right just she's just flooding in flooding in flooding in and just cocooning and like surrounding me with this energy of just like it's it's okay it is fine. No matter, no matter what you've done, it is okay. No matter like what you continue to do, it's okay. No matter what you're worrying about, it's fine. It's just like, everything is fine. Everything is okay. And not only is it fine and okay, it's actually perfect and beautiful. And it's like, you know, there's no need to have any judgments. There's no need to even have any opinions, <laughs> right? It's just, everything is good everything is good like if you look at yourself and go 
oh, like I'm kind of fat. It's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're kind of fat. Oh, I have credit card debt. I shouldn't have done that. I did a bad thing. You, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have credit card debt, right? All, all of these things that you could beat yourself up about, it's like, it doesn't matter, right? This, this Cancer New Moon, this is the energy of the Divine Mother coming in to like tell you like, none of those things matter. They don't matter. They don't. Everything is fine. Maybe you drink too much. That's also fine. It's like, don't beat yourself up about it, right? Don't beat yourself up about it. No matter, there's something, there is something you're beating yourself up about it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter the way you think it matters, right? The divine mother knows it doesn't matter because she knows that life is hard, right? Earth life is hard. Your life has been hard. You have so many challenges and struggles, but like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And that's, why it's like drop out of all of the rules, drop out of all of the should statements, right? Um, and just allow everything to be okay. Just however it is, however it is, just allow it to be okay. And it's like create the unexpected. Create the unexpected. Because you can do things in an entirely new way, right? There's a real opportunity for like extreme creativity here. Um, so there's this is like, you know, this whole message about dropping out of should and dropping out of the rules, first like, part of that is just like, so that you know it's okay and like, to be however you are. But also when you escape the rules and the structures and the shoulds, that allows for incredible creativity, like innovative creativity to do something entirely unexpected, like be a seahorse where like the male is pregnant, right? <laughs> to just do something entirely different that breaks the rules, that breaks the molds. You can't get to that innovative place, right? You cannot get to that innovative place if you're stuck in the system of rules and shoulds and should nots, right? So dropping out of all of that takes you to the place of innovation. <laughs> 32, dolphin spirit activate more bliss. And this is like, guys, this is dolphins, right? This is dolphins who doesn't love the dolphins. <laughs> um, to just feel that playfulness, right? To, I wish everybody could have a kitten, right? <laughs> because kitten just runs around and just plays and just jumps and then, then eats and then sleeps. And, and it's just, just everything is fun. Everything is bliss. Everything is just joy and like, just, oh my God, right? That's like the dolphins is to just get into that place of bliss, get into that place of bliss. That's the highest, this, it's like innovative bliss, innov innovative, innovative bliss, innovative bliss, I think is probably the highest frequency of this Cancer New Moon, new moon energy that I am able to tune into, innovative bliss. Um, So I'm just kind of going to put that there as the benchmark for where, like something to aim your sights on, right? And if you can't get there, remember the divine mother knows that that is okay. That is okay. That is okay. So you don't need to get there. You can just point yourself towards innovative bliss and allow yourself to flow in that direction. And if there are roadblocks, if you stumble, it's like, it's fine, right? The divine mother is there to pick you up patch you up, patch you up and like kiss your boo-boo better, right? <laughs> it's like, <sighs> and it, 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 um, also, so the thing with, um, divine feminine energy, this divine mother energy is, uh, she's going to cut like the divine mother energy is going to come through the way you need it to come through. So that could be with this like really soothing kind of like almost stereotypical, like mothering vibe. Um, but it could also be an energy like Sekhmet, right? The Egyptian lion goddess. Um, and Sekhmet's energy is entirely different, right? She is like a lioness, <laughs> like, like a completely sovereign and fierce and str like, strong in that kind of warrior way and there there's like a, a very much an edge to her energy right Al almost like um just like imagine like how, how you would feel if you were like walking through the grass and then a lion popped up in front of you and like roared in your face right like what kind of terror would that elicit in you right if, if you weren't expecting it and if you thought that lion might eat you right that kind of terror that is part of Sekhmet's energy and that is also divine mother energy and I'm mentioning Sek Sekhmet specifically because she's been coming up for me because of the kitten right because a year ago when my cat bear left his body um, I had Sekhmet come through like so hard for a few weeks, right? When my cat transitioned, right? It was like, he, he helped me connect with her and helped me get through the grieving process. And it was interesting, right? Before I found my new kitten, um, I felt Sekhmet come back around and I was feeling her energy. 
and I was like, hey, like, this is cool, like, hi. It wasn't as strong as before, but it was like she was just like kind of coming through. Um, and then sure enough, like a day later, I, I find my kitten. And so she's been kind of coming in the back of my mind. So I just wanted to mention that the, the layers of Divine Mother energy and like the, the many, many faces of the Divine Mother, she's gonna come through the way you need her to come through. She, she will be whoever you need her to be. And there's, she's all different facets. <laughs> Guys, Guys, the Empress and this Empress is a lioness. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything else to say. I don't have anything else to say on that. There she is confirming what I just said. <laughs> I just, and I, it was funny, you know, I don't typically um, flip cards face down, right? But th there we go. There we go. So Sekhmet is here for those who who need that fierceness coming through. But think about it, like a lioness, right? To her, to her cubs right to her little lion cubs she is the like the mother the mother right the mothering mother right she mothers and nurses and cleans and kisses and teaches her kittens but if she has to defend her kittens then she's sekhmet right then she's sekhmet so yeah ten of wands interesting <laughs> interesting that this comes up with this seahorse spirit create the unexpected because this is to me it's like how can you discharge your burdens how can you jettison your burdens how can you just get rid of them right because this is like a, i can't help but contrasting cancer any energy with capricorn energy because it's like capricorn energy would be like carry the burden right carry the burden but that's not what we're doing right we're in cancer energy and ca cancer energy is like get rid of the burden <laughs> Get rid of the burden. Like, make your man carry it, <laughs> which is like what the seahorses do, right? Female seahorses are like, I don't want to be pregnant. I'm going to make him be pregnant and makes him carry the babies. And we have this burden come up. So it's like, I mean, maybe literally, maybe literally in your life, if, if you have like a task that you can make your man do or like some guy do, or if it's like literally hiring someone to come fix something in your house, right? That type of thing. <laughs> Um, but it's like, on, on, like, that's like a very, the very practical, very 3D kind of manifestation of that. But on an energetic level, how, how, how can you create the unexpected to jettison your burdens? It's like, this is like an interesting way of transmuting the burden of just saying like this burden, I don't need to carry it anymore. I don't need to carry it anymore. This female seahorse was like, I don't need to be, I don't need to carry these babies, right? I don't need to carry these eggs. I don't need to be the one who's pregnant. I'm going to jettison this burden. And for the seahorses that works out, right? So jettison your burdens. How can you just, and that this, like really at the core of this, this is doing this energetically. This is doing it like internally and mentally to the point where um, like if you have some kind of problem on your mind, right? How can you just throw your hands up in the air and say, I surrender this. Like I'm done with it. When you get to the point of, you know, sometimes in your life you get pushed, right? You get pushed to this problem and the problem just never goes away. And it doesn't matter what you do, the problem never goes away. And so what if you just say, I'm going to stop trying to solve this problem. It's like, I'm done with this. I'm done with trying to solve the problem. I'm done with trying to fix the problem. I'm done with trying to figure out the problem. I'm done with trying to figure out how I'm attracting the problem. I'm done with trying to figure out how my energy is manifesting. It's like, no, just, just throw your hands up in the air and say, I'm not going to worry about this anymore. It's not even about fixing the problem. It's not even about solving the problem. It's just like, just flick the switch in your head and go, I am not worrying about this anymore. Like reclaiming your energetic sovereignty like reclaiming your your resilience and just going i am not going a lot going to allow this problem to bother me that's like ener energetically jettisoning <laughs> energetically jettisoning <laughs> the problem just being being done with it being done with it right <laughs> and clarity and clarity so the first card is interesting how the first card was here and the last card was here but the first and the last cards Clarity and clarity, right? Clear perspective and ace of swords. So once you jettison your burden, right? And this is jettisoning, jettisoning your burden mentally, energetically, right? Just just deciding you're done with it. Deciding you're not going to worry about it. And the cookie's going to crumble the way the cookie's going to crumble, right? It's fine. It's all 
fine and it, it, it's not even it's not even about convincing yourself that everything is going to end up perfectly in your favor it's knowing that however the cookie crumbles is the way the cookie crumbled and the cookie crumbled perfectly it does it doesn't matter right like imagine i don't know like imagine an extreme case maybe you're in some kind of court case like a legal situation right and you could be fixated on like winning the court case winning the court case winning the court case and like but it's not even about winning the court case right it's just about knowing that it doesn't matter how the court like how the judge decides it doesn't matter what the decision is because none of this really fucking matters anyway right? <laughs> like it's gonna the cookie's gonna crumble the way the cookie's gonna crumble and it's gonna be fine and it's like you're just getting rid of the worry because really the worry is the problem right worrying about the problem is the problem having a problem with the problem is the problem <laughs> you know what i mean you know what i mean it's it's the feelings of worrying about it like you want to be free of the worry you want to be free of the stress right you you want to be free of all of that and you want to be able to just feel the feelings that you want to feel you want to be able to just be who you are and and focus on who you are and focus on your kitten or your children or the sunset or the cup of coffee right you, you that like it's finding the clarity on what really matters finding the clarity on what really really matters and that is how you find your way back to the innovative bliss right to the innovative bliss so tune into the divine mother in any of her faces call in sekhmet if that energy would be supportive for you right tune into the dolphins they're always there always there bringing their supersonic giggles right with their divine bliss waiting to share that with you waiting to teach you and remind you it's not even teaching you to remind you to help you remember to help you remember what is truly 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 important in your life at this time and to just allow everything to get really simple and really clear on what it is in your life that makes your life worth living right finding the clarity on why you even want to bother <laughs> being alive right and this is for this week your reasons for living like the the biggest potential for satisfaction is going to come from the minutia, right? The tiny things. It could be a tiny thing like a tiny kitten. It could also be, you know, that cup of coffee, your breakfast bagel. I eat a bagel every morning for breakfast. Poppy seed bagel with cheese, tomato and cucumber, a little bit of salt and pepper. And I sit there with my cup of coffee on my living room floor and I sit there and I drink my coffee and I eat my bagel and I look out the window and my, my fur balls, my fur fam, they're all rolling around me on the floor. And I just go, <laughs> this is so perfect. This is so satisfying, right? This cup of coffee is delicious. This bagel is the perfect thing to start my day, right? My dog and my cat and my new kitten are just so perfect i am so blessed and look at this view out the window even though the view you know sure there could be better views but you know what that's the view that i have and it is a beautiful view and then i just sit there and i just cultivate that feeling of this day is beautiful this day i am so blessed this day is so full of joy and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what happens that day right it doesn't matter what kind of phone calls I get. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, sometimes, sure, sometimes a phone call, I get derailed, but it's like, fine, if I get derailed, that's fine. It doesn't matter. I can get derailed. I can have a moment. I can have a, myself a meltdown. Then I just click back into that place of, oh my God, this life is so divine, is so divine. This is so perfect and satisfying and beautiful, right? Then you get derailed, but it doesn't matter. Then you just click back in. You just click back in. You just click back into that centered place because that is where all the clarity is so i will see you guys when i see you sending you so much love and light bye